everybody, I'm Brianna. And I'm Justin. And we are so glad you joined us today. We're gonna start by welcoming everyone who's with us today, whether that's in our kids' spaces, online, or wherever else you're joining from. So let's get ready to clap and cheer and make some noise. Ready? Go! Oh! Yeah! Awesome! Like we said before, we are so glad that you joined us today. Now I'm gonna need everyone to stand up. Come on, stand up. We have some really fun things in store for you today. Something extra, extra special. And we need you guys to be ready, all right? So let's all do some jumping jacks. Yeah. Come Woo. on, jump, jumping jacks. Get into it. Jump, Woo. jumping jacks. Okay. Stretch it out. How are we doing? <sighs> Get some stretching in. Mm -hmm. This arm. Do some arm stretches, 100%, 100%. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay, and don't forget a little bit of one. Mm -hmm. Maybe some high knees. <laughs> I'm feeling ready. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good too, for sure. Okay, I think you guys are ready for what we have planned today. Stay standing because it's time for us to shout out four things we always remember. That God is good that Jesus has forgiven me, that I am loved, and that everything is possible. That's right. Come on, we're gonna shout those out as loud as we can. Declare them with confidence, you guys. Let's go. Awesome! We can declare those truths over our life every day. That's right. Now stay standing because Jesus is here with us right now and we're gonna worship him together. When we worship, we sing and we dance, but more importantly, we give Jesus the number one place in our heart. We're going to give him all of our attention right now. Let's worship. <laughs>
Man, we love worshiping with you guys. You guys can go ahead and sit down now because now it's time for today's lesson. So like we said, for today's lesson, we have something extra special planned. Today, we're gonna play Valley Creek Kids Super Duper Awesome, Stupendous, Fabulous, Amazing. Don't forget exciting. That's right, exciting, fantastic game, game show! show. Here's how it works. We're gonna ask you questions and you guys are gonna get points for answering them. And if you get enough points, 150,000 points to be exact, Whoa. We get to smash a cake in Justin's face. Pretty awesome, right? Maybe for you guys. <laughs> Just kidding, it's awesome for me too. I love cake. Who doesn't? Yeah. Okay, so guys, the questions we're asking you about today are all about what we've been learning here at Valley Creek Kids. We've been learning all about hope, right? Right. Ah, according to my research, hope is expecting to see God's goodness in your life. Jesus is hope. That's right. And at Valley Creek Kids, we get to be a part of a movement of hope. We get to share hope with other people, and we've been learning how to become part of that movement of hope. <laughs> Listen up here. You become a part of a movement of hope by first discovering Jesus. Next, you find friendship with God and others. Then you can go out and change your world. Exactly. It's some pretty important stuff, so we want to make sure you guys remember it. Now, if this is your first time joining us, or if you haven't been with us every week, or you're really not sure what the answer is, don't worry, you can still play. We're gonna play a little review video before each set of questions, so pay close attention so you can hear the answers. Got it? Pay attention, guys, because I really, really, really want to smash a cake into Justin's face. We got to get those 150,000 points, right? Supercomputer Lydia, can you queue up the review for our first set of questions, please? Of course. Playing review in three, two, one. This is a Bible story, a story from God's Word about when some of Jesus' friends, the disciples, first started their journey of discovering Jesus. Oh boy, let's hear it. <laughs> okay, here we go. This story is in the book of Matthew. Jesus was traveling. He was going around teaching people about God's love. One day, he was spending time with people along the shore of the Sea of Galilee when he noticed two brothers, Andrew and Peter. They were fishermen who had been working hard all day to catch fish. They were in the middle of casting a giant fishing net into the water when Jesus called out to them. He said, come follow me and I will send you out to fish for people. Jesus was inviting Andrew and Peter to come and discover him and to come help other people discover him too. See, in the story, Jesus was inviting the disciples to come with him. Well, that's what we get to do too. You can start by just saying, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Yeah. Wait, wait, for what? Oh, well, we need Jesus in our life, Argyle. Jesus is the son of God. He rescued the whole world, including us. We need him to guide us. Uh, we need his love. We need his forgiveness. If Jesus lives in our hearts and is with us everywhere we go, we can discover him anywhere, anytime. So I can discover Jesus anywhere by worshiping and engaging in God's word and by talking to him? That's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Jesus is here, ready, inviting us to discover him. And now we get to say yes. Jesus, I need you. That's right, Argyle. Just like Andrew and Peter and James and John in the story, discovering Jesus is our first step to becoming part of a movement of hope. All right, everyone. That concludes our first review. Now get ready for my questions. Okay, make sure you shout your answers really loud, you guys. No matter where you are, at home, in a kid's room, or in your car, we need Lydia to be able to hear you so that she can collect all of our answers. Every time one of you shouts out the correct answer, we get more points. Yeah. Question one. How do we start discovering Jesus? Is it A, by finding where he is hiding? B telling Jesus we need him and inviting him into our life. Or C, getting in a hot air balloon and floating up to heaven. Shout out your answers in three, two, one, go. The correct answer is B, 
telling Jesus we need him, and inviting him into our life. Great job, everybody! Okay, Lydia, we're ready for question number two. Question number two. Where can we discover Jesus? A. Anywhere. B. Only at church. Or C. In a hot air balloon. Here we go. Everyone answer in three, two, one. The correct answer is A. Anywhere. Wow, look at all those points going up! You guys are doing really great. There must be a lot of correct answers out there. It's time for our next review. In three, two, one. Did you know that God is inviting you to be friends with him? Wait a minute, you mean God, like the big man? He is? Yes, when we discover Jesus and become a part of God's family, God is our good father and we are his loved kids. He actually wants to have a relationship with us. He invites us to be his friend. So does that mean that like, I should invite him over to one of my yachts? I have a lot of yachts, you know, I have a lot of boats, but I should invite him over to my biggest one so we can play video games and go down the water slide. Well, that sounds fun, but no, not exactly. God is always with us and he can be with you while you do those things. He loves you and he is with you every moment. If I want to be God's friend, how do I do that? Do I need to like buy him some things? Not exactly like that. You see, the point of being God's friend isn't that you have to do things for him. The point of being God's friend is that you get to do things with him. After teaching and healing lots of people, Jesus went up on a mountainside away from the crowds. He invited 12 of his followers to come with him inviting them to spend time with him as his friends. There on the mountain, he appointed them to be his 12 disciples, giving them authority to go out and teach people about the love of God and heal people with his power. So that's what they did. The 12 disciples continued to travel with Jesus, teaching and doing miracles. They got to bring hope to others. And then in Mark chapter 16, the Bible tells us that even after Jesus left earth and went to heaven to be with God, God's spirit was still with the disciples, moving through them everywhere they went as they continued to share hope. The end. See, when we are friends with God's people, people who love him and are part of his family, they can help us move forward on our journey with Jesus as we follow him together. We need friends that we can talk to about, learn about, and become like Jesus with. So it's important that we have friendship with people who are following Jesus just like we are. All right, it's time for our second set of questions. Number one, how do we have a friendship with God? A buy him his favorite things. B. Invite him to your birthday party. Or C. Do things with him. Everyone shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is C. Do things with him. Alright, we're getting closer to that 150,000. <laughs> We are. Are you getting nervous, Justin? Because we are definitely going to smash some cake in your face. Let's keep going, Lydia. Next question. Here we go. Why is it important to be friends with God's people? A. Because we can help each other follow Jesus. B. Because we get to have a pizza party. Or C. Because we all need a boat. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, one. The correct answer is A. Because we can help each other follow Jesus. Okay guys, we're really, really close and this is going to be our last set of questions, everybody. That's right, only two more questions to go. Starting our third review in three, two, one. The world needs the hope of Jesus, Sam. We get to bring light to a dark world. Listen to what it says in the Bible. In Matthew 5, God's word, it says, you are the light of the world. 
a town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Sam, kids, you are the light of the world. You get to shine the hope of Jesus everywhere you go. Light is way more powerful than darkness. Look, wherever I point my flashlight, light appears. Point it, oh, point, point it toward our friends so they can see it. Wow, nothing can, can stand in the way of our mighty flashlight. Exactly, Sam. Let's turn the lights back on. Flashlights bring light to darkness. And when we have hope inside of us, we're like a flashlight. Let's say you have a friend who's feeling really nervous about something or afraid. You could share hope with them by asking God to give them peace. Oh, so so my hope can, can change a dark situation and, and turn it to light. Yes. Like, like if people are being mean to each other, I can share hope by being kind. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. And just like God has placed you with specific people in your life to share hope with, God has placed me and the kids and everyone else in the lives of specific people that we get to share hope with too. Kids, think about it. Who are the people in your life that you can share hope with? We all get to partner with Jesus to share hope together. Oh, spaghetti sauce, that's awesome, Miss Jen. I'm so glad that I get to be part of something like that. Me too, Sam. And kids, that's what you get to be a part of too. We get to partner with Jesus to change our world. We are a movement of hope. Oh yeah, let's shine our light for everyone to see. All right, everyone. Here is your first question. How do we change our world? A. We share the hope of Jesus everywhere we go. B. We hand out free chocolate on holidays. Or C. We get in a hot air balloon and fly to heaven. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is A. We share the hope of Jesus everywhere we go. Good job, guys. Last question. Are you guys ready? Justin, I know they're going to get these right. So I think the question is, are you ready for <clears throat> cake to be all up over your face? <laughs> Absolutely I am. You better believe I am! Here is your final question. Jesus says that you are the what of the world? A. People. B. Mailman. Or C. Light. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is C. Jesus says you are the light of the world. Calculating final point tally. 150,000 points. You win. Congratulations. Get ready to smash Justin's face into a cake. Woo! Yay! Good job, everybody! All right, everybody. It's cake smashing time. We'll smash the cake on the count of three. Count with me. One, two, three! <laughs> I took it on my birthday. <laughs> Thanks for scoring 150,000 points, you guys. <laughs> I think you should go get cleaned up, but you're a good sport. <laughs> Kids, great job. Thank you for playing. That was silly. But I really want us to remember what we've been learning. We become part of a movement of hope when we discover Jesus, find friendship, and change our world. That's what we get to do at Valley Creek Kids. 
That's why we join with each other every week, whether in person or online, because we get to discover Jesus together. We get to find friendship with God and with each other, and we get to go out and change our world by sharing hope with more and more people. That's what you are invited to be a part of. That is a movement of hope. Woo, I'm back, everybody. <laughs> You're looking good. You're looking cleaned Thank up. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're that. back just in time for worship. Oh, that's awesome. I love worship. Kids, let's stand up. Jesus is the most important thing in our life, and he is here with us right now. Let's praise his name together. <laughs> was so fun. All right, as we wrap up our time today, we're gonna invite God to fill us with his hope. Let's start by reading Romans 15, 13 from the Bible, God's word. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's pray. Let's close our eyes so that we can focus our attention on Jesus. And we want you guys to pray with us today, okay? So. First, let's tell him that he is good. And so Jesus, you are so good to me. So come on guys, let's tell him how good he is. Thank you, Father, yes. for being good God, to so me. Good. 
Next, we want to thank Jesus for his hope. So thank you, Jesus, for the hope that you are filling us with right now. Say it with me, you guys. Thank God right now for thank his you, hope. God, for your hope. Yeah. And last, let's ask him to help us discover more of him, to find friendship, and to change our world. So Jesus, would you help me discover mm -hmm. more of who you are? Would you help me find friendship? Would you help me be a hope carrier so mm -hmm. that I can go out and change my world? Come on, guys, ask him this. Yes. In Jesus' name. We pray, amen. 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 All right, you guys can open your eyes. In just a minute, some questions are going to pop up on the screen so you can talk about what we learned today. It's so important to talk to other people about what God is doing in our lives. We weren't meant to do this alone. We get to be a part of a movement of hope together. So if you're joining us in one of our kids' rooms, answer the questions in your circle time. Share what's on your heart, make friends. Mm -hmm. And if you're joining us online, find someone at home that you can talk to or share this video with one of your friends and talk about the questions with them. And as you go this week, always remembering, say it with me if you know it. God is good. Jesus has forgiven me. I am loved and everything is possible. See y'all next time. Bye guys.